what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we're going to talk about megan 2.0 we're going to talk about scream 7 a little bit of a rumor killer we're going to talk about beetlejuice 2 and then we'll round this out by talking about jurassic world 4 so just to start off here this is a bloody disgusting article i'm reading from but megan 2.0 has had its release date shifted so originally announced for theatrical release on january 17 2025 from blumhouse and universal the upcoming megan sequel will now release in theaters on may 16th of 2025 we know allison williams and violet mcgraw are back for the sequel with akila cooper once again writing the script and james wan on board to produce as i just mentioned that report i just read came from bloody disgusting I recall us hearing just recently, though, that Violet was going to be leaving to go film Megan 2 soon because her sister from the Black Phone was stating that she's kind of sad about it, obviously because she loves her sister. They stated this during a recent interview where those two were together on screen. So we know filming is happening in the near distant future. I would assume sometime in March. As I previously mentioned, though, this story is rumored to introduce a second doll that goes one on one with Megan at some point who is now protecting Gemma and Katie however I know there's also been that comparison that if this is true this sounds very much so like what they did with Terminator 2 Judgment Day and it does it sounds like they are taking Megan down the Arnold Schwarzenegger path where she was bad in the original but now in this one she's good because allegedly she's kind of like the help to Gemma and Katie now but we'll see how this all works out and of course the name that I put out there was Amelia which could be a placeholder name for the actual second doll's name but I do firmly believe you're going to get a second doll in Megan 2.0 just because of some other stuff that I have that I didn't put out there because I didn't want to jeopardize that information being removed so in terms of where we're going to go with Scream 7 today Scream 7 is rumored to have an announcement this month, as previously mentioned in another video, but I've heard that this is not happening. Yes, I've heard other specifics related to progress on the film, but Spyglass is determined to keep a lid on certain motions until important aspects like the script are ready. What I'm trying to get at is that there's certain things that I have heard about Scream 7 that I haven't made videos about because those type of things aren't always going to be something you should share because it could then lead to some of the planned happenings shifting and then they are ab absolutely going to shift things if they want to discredit you that's something that they can and will do so there's a lot of stuff that i've heard that i haven't put out but i've made videos on it just in case that if it does come out i can quickly hit the upload button but i know what to and what not to talk about because again certain things if you talk about them i've learned they will just then shift plans to make you look like you don't know what you're talking about but once we hear who the director is barring that nothing leaks that is a sign that the script is ready i doubt we're going to get reports the way we are with jurassic world 4 where we're hearing about directors being in talks then dipping etc in spyglass's case the best form of damage control for them would likely be assembling everything needed for this newly rehauled scream 7 and then allowing the major outlets to report on it as opposed to what scream 7 has been getting which are reports that it's happening here's who's directing and then negative report after negative report after negative report that just makes it sound like production is struggling to move forward so now they are probably in a mindset this is me just making assumptions based off the vague details i've had shared with me they're probably going to be going into this thinking okay let's assemble everything we need and then allow all of the major outlets to talk about our pro project so that way it doesn't look like we are a complete train wreck as it pertains to scream 7 but yes the rumored announcement i've heard that's not happening this month yes i have heard on when you should likely expect an announcement i'm just going to say be patient because again i don't want to say when and then they change it but diving into beetlejuice 2 jenna ortega spoke about her role as astrid in beetlejuice beetlejuice with vanity fair stating i wouldn't say she's bright and sunny at all to describe astrid she doesn't go to the opposite end of the spectrum but any kid who becomes a teenager wants to be removed from their parents i think they instantly just fight whatever it is that their parents loves so i think it's a little bit of that i'm not wearing pink and a cheerleader but i am a little bit against my mom's history or past we butt heads quite a bit so she's describing that relationship between astrid and lydia there the butting heads part and the bit against mom's history 
to me, I would say is a vague confirmation of Lydia's show we've heard about and how I've stated that Astrid is rumored to dislike this show for her own personal reasons related to a loss in the family that happened off screen before we ever meet her. You will learn more about this person in Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Ortega also described Astrid as weird, but in a different way and not how we'd assume. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice will also rely apparently on practical effects according to Michael Keaton who said this with people.com the one thing that he I'm assuming he means Tim Burton and I decided on early early on from the beginning if we ever did it again I was totally not interested in doing something where there was too much technology it had to feel handmade he's absolutely right so that's good that practical effects that that practical effects are being used over the cg stuff that we get these days not that a cg always looks bad but over here i'm always going to prefer practical over cg the last thing we're going to talk about is going to be related to jurassic world 4 so gareth edwards is now in final negotiations to direct jurassic world 4 deadline reports this offer came about after he impressed producer steven spielberg and frank marshall now, pre-production is expected to ramp up once the deal is sealed. Edwards did great work on Godzilla 2014, which I'd argue is currently the best depiction of the Titan character in Legendary's growing MonsterVerse since we're now getting some sort of buddy cop describes like sequel to Godzilla and Kong. So I think the depiction of Kong has just gone so far from how we first met him in that original 2014 film from Gareth Edwards, if I'm being quite honest. In the 2014 film, I would say he came off a lot more menacing and sure he was depicted as a hero, but still there was something intimidating about his presence. Now, when I look at the Godzilla vs. Kong stuff that we're putting out over here, nothing's menacing or really that terrifying about the character. But then I turn on a movie like Godzilla Minus One and he looks and feels very menacing. Anyway, Edwards also recently directed The Creator, which was also another strong addition to his resume. So he's proven himself with creature films in the past, and of course Universal are eager to secure any quality talented director ASAP since they want the film out by July 2nd of 2025. Best of luck to Edwards, and until proven otherwise, I still will say that this film, while being rushed, is possibly going to be better than the last three or four Jurassic Park entries. What do you guys think about this choice of director, Gareth Edwards? Have you seen his other works and think that he would be a great choice to breathe new life into this franchise? Again, with what he did with Godzilla 2014, that makes me hopeful that we will see him lean into some horror roots the way he has done with the 2014 Godzilla film. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and there's a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.